Welcome to my video and thanks for joining me in Anne's space. So in this video and probably a couple more to follow, you will see me traveling around with a group of other people. So I've decided to break up my Europe trip a bit and go to Morocco. And I'm joining other people who are doing the Intrepid tour. So it's 14 days. So come along and enjoy the trip with me. So here's just a few photos from my time alone in Morocco. I was staying at a hotel in the Medina, but then I had to move. So here we go. Hey, well, I've changed hotels because this is where I'm starting my intrepid trip. So that hotel there, Al Walid, is where I'm staying tonight, the first night of my intrepid tour. It's a bit funny, as soon as I'm with other people, I don't take so many videos, so not much on my first few hours with the group, but here we go. So our first stop for the day is Rabat. So we've come through the railway station, that's the train we're on, and yeah, now we're making our way to somewhere to leave our luggage, so it should be good. So we left our luggage in a cafe that we all met back after later on. Um, Danny, our guide, who I'll introduce to you later on, gave us a quick overview and showed us the interesting places on the map that we could go to. So we all headed off as a group and then branched out. This gentleman was more than happy for me to video him doing his craft. Oh, such skills, and he sits here for hours. Such beautiful work that he's doing here, and it's all hand done, which is fantastic. Look at that. So that made me laugh. It's like Subway's back home. But yeah, here's a few photos. Um, I spent my time mainly wandering around with Sheila. Now, Sheila was a group member and she was from Scotland. So yeah, it was fun. So this area is called the Caspar and then the ocean is just over there. But it's clearly all been rebuilt. It doesn't look like there's actually really any ruins at all. And there's, there's the city. So we were sent by a local up a little laneway and this is the view. How cool is that? Right on the ocean. Now apart from all the shite on the path, this is really cool to come here because we can look right over the Casper. No, so it's lovely to come into a cool spot. These are the Andalusian gardens. So free to come into and you can just feel the temperature plummet. Beautiful. So something I noticed here are these little pop-out windows and I wonder if it's like Novosad where the ladies used to sit in them and just check out what was going on down on the street. But just wandering around we think that's the Grand Mosque there but nothing's open. And then coming along and here's the old I mean imagine that all being chipped out many years ago. Very cool. Ah, well this looks like the old Medina of Rabat. So it's got a lot more activity, a lot more different smells. So yeah, it looks like they're just a late start here perhaps. So Sheila and I are looking at all these things, trying to work out what they'd be used for. This one over here, I was told the other day was the soap, not that it looks like a soap. And then we've got these other things, they might be a dye of some sort and crystal rock. And this little one here, the man in the nether store showed us that you put um, powder in it and use it as rouge. So I never would have thought that either. So, yeah. so these ones are even more impressive. These are actually incense. So yeah, the, the young man who I'm not going to take a photo of is telling me. So now we know what they are. So, freshly cooked, and they come off currently. Yeah, chop it all up, puts it in the red roll. How about that? So, on to our second train of the day. Yeah, hopefully we get the right seat. So we're up to the first class. So the scenery, as you can see here, varied quite a bit during the train trip. We just all relaxed, some people slept, others read. I just sort of looked out the window and I was actually doing editing 
before some previous videos so there you go always making use of the time while i travel that's for sure yeah but i enjoyed it i, I do love train travel and i know that if you've been watching my video for a while you'll have seen that i i just enjoy every train that i'm on So here we are, we've arrived at the station of Meknes. It's a really pretty station. Oh, I really like it and it was an easy two hour train ride as well. So looking forward to this, another new city. So it's really cool to see this mural because I can pop it in my video and this is where we're staying. The first night out of Casablanca, so Meknes. So this is the town square of Meknes where I've walked up to. I'm just doing a bit of a saunter on my own. And yeah, I haven't quite worked out what actually happens in this town. Um, it's just a lot of shopping streets. So I will ask our leader Danny um, this afternoon, but I think I might wander back to the hotel now. And apparently rooftop drinks, how cool would that be? Maybe a beer, cause it's very warm today. Australia. So my last vehicle was my trip to the train when I was leaving Brisbane. Oh, look at that car. How cool is that? Oh, right time, right place. So it's a nice time of the day to come and look at Medina. There was a storm last night, which but it cleared the air. It's a beautiful feeling today. Just so cool through here. Uh, for another thousand times I'm going to say how I love the mosaics. So this building was originally a mosque and a mausoleum and this is one of the gravestones from way back when and then the Sultan was very rich. He had over a thousand concubine. So very busy man with a smile on his face and then just look at this floor. Yeah. It's just beautiful and, and it's so, so peaceful in here. This has got to be the fanciest toilets that I have ever, ever been in. Amazing. Yeah, better stop filming. People are going to the toilet. <laughs> so here we go, into the Medina. Through the very thick walls. And every Medina is different, as you would know if you've been watching my video. I love that every corner has something on it. There's such craftsmen here. Beautiful. And then behind me is where they get the water from. So the smells are amazing. This is cinnamon, tamarind. It's a bit flippy light, sorry. Um, and of course peppercorns. This is the mix with 25 spices. Oh, 25 spices in yeah. there. This is for chicken. Yum. All these sweet foods. And the wasps think so too. If I had a sweet tooth, I might be into this. Danny would frown. So they have baklava here as well. And there's more sweet things. Look at this. All behind plastic, this lot. This is such an interesting food market that Michelle and I discovered. So cool. Look at all the food. If we look down there, we see some almonds and then Look at this beautiful display that this man is doing, so good. And yes, there are those again. Got the best looking stall. 
So, welcome. Yeah, oh, thank you. <laughs> so, we've come up to this restaurant for some lunch before we leave. Meknes, I think it's called here. I'm oh, sorry, I get the names muddled up. We go to so many different places, and I'm not doing the planning, so I don't remember so well. But this looks like a perfect place for lunch. So it's actually really interesting no, art. This, yeah, under this good. lattice is actually like a vinyl. And it's just put over the top. It's very simple, but very effective. Yeah, nice area. So we're going to head off from Magnus. And this is going to be our vehicle for the next, uh, I think, 10 days or something. We have our driver, Muhammad. And yeah, it's... It's the start of an adventure really because we've been in cities but now we're going to get out more rural so really looking forward to that and I hope you're enjoying the video so far, there's lots more to come. So here we are, we've entered the Bullet Ruins and I'll put the name down here somewhere because my pronunciation is probably absolutely terrible. So we've got our own um, local guide to show us around. So his, he looks like a guy who certainly knows his stuff. So I'll show you a bit of him as we walk around. Here we go, that's Guy. Hmm. After last night's thunderstorm, who knows what we might have today. So the local guide's just given us a quick rundown. So yeah, these are Roman new ruins and from 400 BC. And over the years, you know, people pilfered the various stones and things to build other buildings. But then there was a big earthquake in Lisbon. Um, sorry, I can't remember where that was. If I remember, I'll pop it in. And this was all covered. So it's only much more recently that it's all been unearthed um, under archaeological expeditions. So there you go, a bit of a fun fact for you. So Tony's giving us some background music <laughs> for this little video of the ruins. I'll be the gladiator. Oh, there's the gladiator. Oh, <laughs> go Siri. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Agora for the Greeks. Uh, the Romans, I mean uh, uh, exactly the politicians, nobles, and the local celebrities who came to the forum were talking about the social, economic, and the political life of all Lubinis. So looking at these marks, mosaics is pretty cool, and I think that this bit here was removed. Because to be conceived as indecent because the males and females were probably naked. But our guy just puts some water on this, yeah. which really highlights the colours. Casablanca. 
So here we all are going for an evening walk. Well, not quite all of us, a few of us. We arrived in Fez, had a good time, and we're just gonna go out for a drink and maybe a light meal, but it's just, it's a beautiful temperature at the moment and it's so much fun. I'll just show you a couple of things that I've noticed as we've been walking along. How cute are they? I'm sure if my grandchildren were younger, they'd love them. out for drinks now look what Danny's got like he's got the company special he's putting in the rest of it's a shame with like glasses of water and glasses of wine I'm having a local guide here in Fez, so he's going to show us around this morning. And we're already at the entrance to the palace. You can't go into the palace, but you can, like in Casablanca, just take a photo of the door. The second one is to pray five times a day. Uh, the third one is the second in Arabic, which is the charity that the rich should give to the poor every year. The fourth one is to fast Ramadan, so it is a month of the Muslim calendar. So the Muslim has to fast it from early in the morning to the sunset. Uh, the fifth one is the pilgrimage to Mecca if possible. If uh, the Muslim is rich, he has to perform the pilgrimage to Mecca. So these are the, if not, it's not uh, compulsory. These are the five pillars uh, in the Moroccan flag. So this palace is a really busy area. I'm just going to wander away and yeah, I might even find a cat to talk to. And of course, there's a cat. So this is a side door away from all the people. But I'll just turn around. It's a really lovely area. The sun's not in a great position to be filming, but I'll do the best I can. So that gives you more of a perspective of what the whole entranceway is. Like the the um, king has numerous palaces. I think it's seven. He's been king since excuse me um, the last king died in 1999 so he's been king for a number of years now apparently he's really well liked but he can overrule what the government decides but really only if they've been faffing around and not making any decisions so i really do like the architecture here i mean look at those big balconies and all that wood so nice so these balconies are made out of cedar wood and the cedar comes from the Atlas Mountains where we'll be going in a few days time. So this is our third stop for the day, yeah, just out of Fez and this one is an artisan with mosaics so I'm definitely going to love that because you know how much I love the mosaic work. Yeah, that's a very white wall behind me but there is actually some mosaic along there a little bit which I'll show you. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot more inside, but look at this, look how intricate it is. And all hand done. So good. Okay, and in case if there is any question, no problem. If you want to film or to take pictures, we don't have any problem. But inside the gallery, no. Free hand, like you said, and very steady hand. <laughs> These guys are like, like doctors, a surgeon. We use 60 color water paint. Two colors will change later after the second fire because he will fire us. Um, Safe on the stove, yeah. gas, and yeah. electric. For electric, you need a piece of metal. Okay. That's normal. Electricity is going. Oh, wow, waiting to be painted. Senior! Coming, coming. This time 18, sometimes more. When they use a sharp hammer, one mistake the cost here will be your finger. <laughs> so I want this shape with cobalt blue, the color of best. Put the shape, trace the backs, that's me, we separate the colors. And me and other guys, we assemble jigsaw puzzles on the floor, but the colors 
face down, reverse. Oh, she should have bought it. So this is the tabletop 29 colors, outside and top. And how do you put it over? We put raisin, the border of metal, and then we flip it over. The finished product is right there. So this guy here, he does all the carving out and then he puts it face down. He's just turned over a couple so we can see. Uh, but then it goes on the door and then you see the correct side. So pretty cool. And they give you the best discount. Oh, so much variety. <laughs> we have pieces for a person. It's not worth Even if you go to have balls, we have pieces for you. Anyway, this is how we wrap this. So now we're actually down in the Medina after going to see all that mosaic work and we're going to be here for a few hours and we've been given strict instructions if we lose the rest of the group we've got to stop where we are and someone will come back and find us. So yeah, people get lost in the Medina. So our guide said that this is a labyrinth and you can see exactly it certainly is a labyrinth. Yeah. Yeah. You can smell a burning smell. Wouldn't want to have to hurriedly oh, get out of here, God. would you? And we're back in that light. And Darcy just mentioned, I mean, imagine if we had an earthquake. Yeah, not a nice thought. So there we go, there's our different products. So this is what they put when they go to the hammer, like the bathhouse. This one is for washing the dishes, and this one is a shampoo. So there we go, the local product. Yeah, so that really is a camel's head. How about that? Yuck, at the butchers. Uh, thank you so much, they're dyeing the clothes. Excellent, wonderful, thank you. It's really cool seeing all the different colours and seeing them that they just do it there on the street. All natural um, dyes, so, or so they say. So they commented a the moment ago that there was a nice smell and now the smell is disgusting as we head towards the actual tannery. So here is the tannery. Talk about physical labour down there. So that's why it smells because they're actually butchering, getting off the, all the flesh off the meat, off the um, hide. Six models, some ten people just to buy jacket, no fine size, can do it by custom made. Four hours can get it in hotel, send it. You found your little little throne, have you, Tony? Cash, fair quality, softer. It's easier to cut away, it's not heavy to cut away. So many. So the package come in small package. Just watch that for being slippery. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that's where we're looking out over at the tanneries, right out the window of all the leather goods. In the end, we come shiny, beautiful. On this table, we have some examples of this. Well, we made it out the other side. We've come out of the Medina after spending, oh, I don't know, about four hours in there. Oh, so interesting. So many different things to see. And yes, so very busy. But it was fun. Now I think we're just going to go back to the hotel. So here we see a lot of people with a lot of cultures coming into the market. Not sure how they came in. Oh, but look at this big truck. And it's in the midst of a shake. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to a Riyadh for dinner. So apparently it's supposed to be really nice inside. 
So let's just go and have a look. Look at that. What a beautiful entrance. Ah, isn't that beautiful? Jealous? Should be. Olives. Okay. And always the olives. Always olives. Exactly. Please take always the table. Olives. Take the table. Are you comfortable to take the table? Okay. So this is a multi-course dinner, so it's going to be interesting as we slowly eat our way through it. So this is our second course, and I have cut it so you can see what's in it. But this is actually a chicken pie. My friend over there, he has a vegetarian pie. So lots of variety. But yeah, we didn't do those bowls too bad. Look at that. That's not bad for just four of us. Wow, the healthy bit. Yeah. I might just finish this first video after that amazing dinner we had in the Riyadh in Fez. So as you can see, really enjoying my time with Intrepid. It's great to travel with a variety of people, getting to know them from different countries and a few Aussies, of course. So I hope you've enjoyed watching the video, seeing the places I saw. And there will be more videos of my time with the Intrepid Group in Morocco. So come back again. But for now, thanks for watching. Bye for now.